If you're dealing with lag in CS2 on a low-end PC, I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you simple tweaks to boost your FPS and make the game run smoother, all without a high-end rig. Let's jump in. In the first step, we'll optimize our Steam settings. Start by opening Steam and navigating to your library. Next, find CS2, right-click on it and select Properties. Copy the command from the description and paste it into the Launch Options box. Now head to the description box and click the link to download the optimization pack from my website. Once it's downloaded, extract the RAR file to your desktop. Inside, you'll find several folders. CSGO Priority, Registry Tweaks, and Process Lasso. Start by opening the CS2 Priority folder and run the appropriate registry tweak based on your PC specs. If you have a high-end PC, execute the High Priority Tweak. For mid-range PCs, run the Mid-End Priority Tweak. In the next step, open the Registry Tweaks folder and execute each of the registry tweaks one by one on your PC. This will help optimize your PC's performance and enhance your gaming experience. Now, open the Process Lasso folder and simply install the exe file, then open the software. Once it's launched, you'll see the main interface. First, click on Main and make sure Manage Processes of All Users is enabled. Next, scroll down to the Active Power Profile section and select Bitsum High Performance. Finally, ensure that Pro Balanced is also enabled. Now, let's go over some of the best optimizations to improve your gameplay experience. First, launch your game and apply these settings while it's running in the background. This ensures that the optimizations are directly applied to the active game process, improving performance in real time. By using Process Lasso in this way, system resources are managed more efficiently, resulting in a smoother experience. To begin, go to All Processes and locate your game running in the background. Right-click on the game, select CPU Priority, choose Always, and set it to High. This will make sure your game runs under the High Priority class. Next, right-click on the game again. Go to I.O. Priority, select Always, and set it to High. Lastly, right-click on your game one more time, select More Options, then go to Hard Throttle. Set it to Always and choose No Throttle. This will remove any CPU limitations, eliminating screen tearing and stuttering, and ultimately providing a smoother and more fluid gaming experience. Open your game and go to the Settings menu. Once you're in the game settings, navigate to the Video tab. Set the display mode to full screen and adjust the aspect ratio to 16.9 for a widescreen experience. Select a resolution that matches your display for optimal performance. Set the refresh rate to 60 Hz and the brightness to 100 to ensure the best visual clarity. Finally, click Apply Changes to save your settings. Next, move to the Advanced Video Settings. Enable the Boost Player Contrast option and disable VSync to improve performance. Set NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency to Enabled and choose the Boost option for better responsiveness. Lastly, set the maximum FPS to 400 and the minimum FPS in menus to 200. These adjustments will help optimize your gaming experience for smoother gameplay and faster responsiveness. To get started with Gear Up Booster, download the tool from the official website using the link in the description. After downloading, install it on your Ping C. Once installed, you'll see the Gear Up Booster interface. The first thing you'll need to do is log in with your Facebook or Google account. On the Home tab, you'll find all the games installed on your PC. If you go to the Games tab, you can browse thousands of games available for optimization. To optimize your network and FPS, return to the Home tab and select the game you want to boost. For example, I'll select Fortnite. Click the Boost button and the tool will begin optimizing the game. It will automatically find the best server for you. Next, you'll need to choose your server region. Select the nearest server for the best connection. In my case, the middle server works best. After selecting the server, close the window. Now, go to the Not tab, where you'll see a list of servers available in the Middle East. Choose the nearest one or let GearUp automatically pick the best server for you. I recommend setting it to Automatic for the best results. Finally, close the window and launch your game using GearUp Booster. This will help you optimize Fortnite or any other game for lower ping and higher FPS. Next, let's tweak some settings in the NVIDIA Control Panel. Start by opening it, then go to Adjust Image Settings with Preview and select Use My Preference Emphasizing, setting it to Performance. After that, head to Manage 3D Settings. Scroll down to find Power Management Mode and set it to Prefer Maximum Performance. After that, scroll down to Low Latency Mode and set it to Ultra. 
Don't forget to apply the changes before closing the NVIDIA control panel. Now in the next step, let's optimize your Windows system for better performance. First, press Windows plus R on your keyboard to open the Run dialog, then type msconfig and hit Enter. In the Boot tab, click Advanced Options, then check the box for Number of Processors. From the drop-down, select the highest number that corresponds to your processor, then click OK, Apply, and OK again. Next, we'll disable Windows animations to improve performance. Search for Adjust the Appearance and Performance of Windows in the search bar and open the window. Select Adjust for Best Performance, and then check the boxes for Enable Peak, Show Shadows under Windows, Show Thumbnails instead of Icons, and Smooth Edges of Screen Fonts. Click Apply and then OK. Now, right-click on the Start button and go to Device Manager. In the Device Manager, find System Devices and disable High Precision Event Timer, HPET. Disabling HPET can help with performance issues like stuttering or frame drops by reducing latency and optimizing CPU usage. Next, open the search bar and type Game Mode Settings. Press Enter and make sure Game Mode is enabled to prioritize system resources for gaming. Then uh, go to Game Bar Settings and disable the Game Bar, including the option Allow Your Controller to Open Game Bar to avoid unwanted interruptions during gameplay. Next, scroll down to Graphics Settings and click on it. Press Browse to add CS2 to the list of applications, then click on Options next to it and select High Performance. Click Save to apply these settings for better performance in CS2. Now, go to Windows Settings, then System, and navigate to Notifications and Actions. Disable. Get notifications from apps and other senders to reduce distractions and free up resources for better performance. Scroll down to Multitasking and disable Snap Windows. Disabling this option reduces background processes and helps improve system performance for smoother multitasking. Scroll down to Shared Experiences and disable Shared Across Devices to reduce synchronization between devices, freeing up resources and enhancing overall system speed. Lastly, go to Remote Desktop Settings and disable the Remote Desktop option. This will improve security by preventing unauthorized remote access and reduce resource usage, enhancing system performance. These changes will significantly optimize your Windows system for smoother and more responsive gaming and general performance. Now press the Windows key and type Startup Apps, then hit Enter. Once you are in the Startup section, disable any unnecessary or unwanted startup applications. This will help improve boot time and reduce resource usage, allowing your system to run more efficiently. Simply toggle off the applications you don't need to start automatically when Windows boots up. Press the Windows key and type Background Apps, then hit Enter. Once you're in the Background Apps section, disable any unnecessary applications running in the background. Simply toggle off the apps that you don't need to be running in the background, as this will free up system resources and improve overall performance. That's it for today's CS2 optimization guide for low-end PCs. I hope these tips help boost your performance and make your gaming experience smoother. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more gaming guides. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.